So, time for the Welsh Grand National then. Uh, this is always a spectacle, this race. And we've got a big field. Three miles and five furlongs, 0 to 180. The top one, the mighty eight, Joshua Sutherland. It Marbo, Darren Thompson. Sounds of the Marina, Darren Thompson. Ziva David, Paul Rhodes, Ashton James, Follis, Spinflake, Thunderspark. There's a Crete, Stu Gray, now and then Martin Leedham, third Prophet, Joshua Sutherland. Break free, Moliette Surfer, Chief Orlando, Carla Agante, Name Check Hotel, P. Hannon, Grecian Urn, Grand Clutterbuck, Glen Moss, Tara, Ghost Zapper, Sharma Blue. Daniel French, W again, Kevin Minahan, Passive Future, Daniel French, Half Hour, Hancock, Stu Gray, Wright Grass, David Robertson, Talk Leon, Derek Hinton, Paula Graham, Clutterbuck, Gray no more, Darren Howes, Street Fire, Doug Warren, Ch Scarlet Ridge, Doug Warren, and Christmas Aria, Darren Howes, they're already racing, it's raining, it's gloomy, but it's going to be a good race, this one, you can just tell, can't you, it's always a good race, the Welsh National, and Spin Flake is going to take them along. With Chief Orlando on his inside and break free in third. That's the leading group then of three. The rest of them pretty tightly grouped at the moment as they sort themselves out through the first furlong or so. One or two of them caught eight or ten wide on my track. Be hoping to get themselves into a better position before too long. Make the long run towards the first fence and they finally get to it. And a mistake there. My Molly Ed Surfers all break free, but they're all over the first OK, and Chief Orlando's the leader. From Spinflake in second, Zacrete third, and Break again fourth. Then W again, with Pooler and Half Hour Hancock after that one. And we drop in the H's or adding the H's on all the time as they take the next one. And they're all over that one. Pretty slow jump in the back for Gray and Moore. Jockey on that one must have realised that I'm commentating and he's liable to end up on the deck. And it's Chief Orlando in the lead from Spinflake second as they come to the third. And they're all over that one. Okay, there are a couple of mistakes towards the rear. This time Scarlet Ridge was the one who didn't get very high. And Chief Orlando on the inside of the grey Spinflake. With the Crete in the yellow jacket on the outside. That's the leading three as they take the fourth. And the other one down on his nose that time was Street Fire. That was the second of the Doug Warren horses so both of his have made mistakes already as they come to the next all we'll stream over that one as well with Grain and more out of shot and there's a Crete Chief Orlando and Spinflake showing the way to W again and then break free Ashton is after that one then Porter and right grass the mighty eight is next Talk Leon Street Fire and Grecian Urn sounds of the marina now and then's after that one, Ziva David is towards the back. It Marbo is the last one in shot at this stage. And Scarlet Ridge and Grain Moor are somewhere detached as they make their way towards the next fence then. And they get to it now. And over it they all go. Take it on trust that the back two negotiated it successfully. Zacrete is the new leader by about a length to the grey spin flake. Chief Orlando on the inside is third. And a little gap to break free and fourth. Then W again is fifth. And Ashton is sixth. And Porter is seventh. Then Glamos Tar is eight. And Wright Russ is nine. And then the Mighty Eight. And third Prophet and Sands of the Marina. And then Grecian Urn. And then Street Far and Talk Leon as they take the seventh. And over that one they go. With Name Check Hotel, the last one in shot as they take this ditch. And we've lost one there. Ziva David is gone. So Ziva David crashes out. That won't please Denozo and it's Chief Orlando in the lead as they take the next and a mistake again by Molly at Surfer's horse break free. There's a Crete has now gone on by a couple of lengths as they come to the next. Over that one they go. And Drainer Moore has been pulled up, I think, at the back while the, the pulled up all fallen when out of shot. So it's a Crete in the lead then as they take this water jump. Over that one they all go with Zacrete in the lead. Chief Orlando is second. Then again back to Glen Moss Tara who's now gone third. The mighty eight and um, break free. And next then Ashton and W again. And then Paul the spin flakes lost its position. Then stands at the marina and Grecian Urn. And then third profit and talk Leon and passive future. And then right grasses after that one. Then now and then and Charmer Blur. Then half hour Adcock and Christmas Aria. Name check hotel. It Marbo and the two Doug Warren horses at the back. Scarlet Fire and 
Street Fire even, and Scarlet Ridge. So making their way towards the next end. And they've already got through a lot of this race. There's only a little over a mile and a half to go. And Zacrete is taking them along in the lead. Well, Chief Orlando second. Break Free's moved back up now, getting into third. Spin Flake, after a bit of a breather, is going well again in fourth. Then W again, and then Paula. And then Ashton. Sands of the Marina gets closer as they take the next. And the leader made a mistake. Hit that one hard. Lost a bit of impetus and is now finds himself being challenged by Chief Orlando and Spin Flake tucked in behind them break free and puller then W again Ashton's getting closer still wide on the track Glenn Moss Tara he's close up but giving away a bit of ground on the turns as they take this next one and over that one they all go they all appear to be over that one okay with Zacrete on the inside of Spinflake. Chief Orlando and Break Free, and then W again, who's having a nice run through on the inside. Then Ashton, Glen Moss, Tara, as they take the next. And now Spinflake's jumped into the lead. So Spinflake, it is then there by about a length. To Zacrete in second. Chief Orlando and Break Free, and W again, that's the lead in five. Then Talk Leon and Paula. And towards the 15th of the 22. And a mistake again by Zacrete. Sees that one drop even further down the field now. Might have run his race that one. But Spin Flake's the leader. From Break Free in second. Chief Orlando third. And Zacrete trying to rally. Jumped that one slowly but got over it okay. The rest of them are all over it okay. Scarlet Ridge has been pulled up. But it's Spin Flake in the lead. From Break Free in second. Then Chief Orlando. The Mighty Eight. W again. Puller. Glen Moss Tara being pushed along on the outside. Now and then creeping into it on the rail. But it's Spin Flake in front about two lengths to break free in second. Zacrete is third. Talk Leon four. Then Ashton five. The Mighty Eight six. Then Paula W again. Third Profit. Now and then he's getting closer. Then Glen Mostara. Chief Orlando is now dropping out of it as well. Down towards the 17th then. Oh, no, a mistake by Spinflake has given the lead to Ashton. So Ashton takes it up. Ashton's in front then from Spinflake in second. In comes the Crete who's sticking on there in third. The rest of them are queuing up behind now and then. Looks to be going well towards the back of the field. It Marbo's been pulled up, but it's Ashton in the lead. Ashton leads in from Spinflake in second. Grecian Earn on the outside is third. Here comes Sounds of the Marina and W again. The Crete dropping away as they take this on the lead and gone straight through and has lost the lead. It's Grecian Earn now that comes through to take it up from Sounds of the Marina. Over the 19th they go. Sounds of the Marina, Grecian Earn, W again. And Spinflake. Ashton still there. Passive Futures trying to get into it. So too's Hancock half hour and now and then when they come down towards the third from home. And over it they go and it's Sounds of the Marina that lands in the lead. Sounds of the Marina's in front by a length. Two W again, Ashton. Ashton, Spinflake, Grecian Earn, then Passive Future and the Mighty Eights, they come down to the second last, and over it they go, and it sounds of the Marina in the lead, being pressed by W again, then comes Ashton, Passive Future trying to run on their race down towards the final fence in the Welsh National, and it sounds of the Marina, being pressed by W again, over it they go, sounds of the Marina in the lead, but now W again takes it up, W again, sounds of the Marina, they're having a ding-dong battle, Passive Future and Ashton trying to run on, so too is Grecian Earn, they're inside the final furlong, sounds of the Marina and W again, sounds of the Marina by head, sounds of the Marina is now beginning to pull away. Sounds of the Marina from W again and Passive Future up towards the line. Sounds of the Marina. W again. One last lunge. It's going to be close and W again just gets up and takes it. W again wins it. Sounds of the Marina second. Now and then ran on well to be third I think. And it was a mighty close finish. Quite a few pulled up towards the end but that was a thrilling finish to the Welsh Grand National and W again gets up to take it. Sounds of the Marina was second. Passive Future was the one in the orange jacket that got up to be third. And looks like Joshua Sullivan's almost might have been fourth. Let's take a look at the full list. A thrilling Welsh National. W again takes it for Kevin Meenahan. Sounds of the Marina for Darren Thompson was second, giving away lumps of weight. Third was Passive Future for Daniel French. Mighty eight for Joshua Sullivan was fourth. And now and then was fifth.